Cowgirl Mimi here. Thank you for tuning in. And you know what we're about, if this is the first time you've tuned in and you don't know me, is fast and cheap and healthy ways of eating. And like three ingredients, four or five ingredients maybe, measuring if you want, not measuring if you don't want, and eating what needs eating. When you open up your fridge and go, ah, you know, you should eat what is ready to eat and what will go bad if you don't eat it. So it's really good to know how to do that, how to kind of riff with what you have and how to shop and how to grow your own. I'm dressed up in my best, well, one of my best black hoodies today, um, my uh, formal uh, black hoodie, because I wanted to do a little sort of Q&A thing here. Let's start with the one about immunity. My answer is no. Um, I do take vitamin B12 because I'm vegan and it's recommended by a lot of people to do that. And I also take vitamin D because my internist said that I ought to. Uh, I think it has to do with being older than dirt, I'm not sure. But um, because we don't go out in public bearing a lot of skin, we don't get what we need necessarily from the sun. Also, we don't want to expose ourselves to cancer from too much sun exposure, so I do take vitamin D. Beyond that, for immunity, what I take is blueberries and blackberries and boysenberries and let's see, what am I leaving out? Olala berries, cherries, anything with dark red color or anything with dark green color. Arugula, my favorite, love it. Dark green leaves, collard greens, dandelions. Those are fantastic foods for immunity boosting. The idea being that those are foods to have as habits, as always in your CRISPR, as you know, go out and pick them out of your garden and eat them all the time. Use them in smoothies, use them in salads. Any way you want to eat them is great. Spinach, those are immune boosters. So not so big on um, supplements. And everything I've heard and read and learned from the physicians that I've studied with say that um, the the things that you buy in a bottle really aren't what you need for good immunity boosting. Here's another really good question that I love to talk about. We know it's a problem. We know when you go um, and look at the kids at school or on the playground, there are so many more kids that are obviously a bit or quite overweight. Why? Uh, and how do you help your kids not overeat or become obese? It's particularly important, I think, because I'm seeing everything from the viewpoint of a diabetic. And I think most folks know that being overweight, being above your um, normal or expected body weight, is definitely a risk for diabetes. Couple of simple things. One, I always had my kids cook with me. I didn't just cook up stuff and throw it on the table. I always had the kids responsible with me for making whatever we ate. If a kid makes it, they will typically eat it. So that's part of it. And as you're helping the kids make it, you're talking about what's in it. And at my house, you got sent to the encyclopedia or the dictionary or whatever, and you always had to read the label. So before you made anything or ate anything, you had to read aloud to yourself and to me what was in it. And as soon as a kid is really engaged with, oh, what is going into my body and why do, and is it okay? you've got them hooked. And the other thing is, of course, that um, they need to set the table, they need to help present the food, you talk about food, you shop together. 
when I would go on my crazy, you know, nine o'clock at night um, foray to the discount canned goods store, whatever, um, and which is a whole other story, but the kids were with me and they would go to their assigned places in the store to get their assigned things. They were sent out to produce to get cabbage or they were sent to the cereal aisle to get the cereal. They were busy and engaged and it was their responsibility to gather the food and then to cook the food. So that might not sound like the advice you were looking for, but I, uh, over the years, I think it's, it's been a huge uh, advantage for my kids to have grown up curious about food, engaged about, they, they didn't expect to just be fed, not at our house. And they help clean up too. Um, responsibility for what's going into your body, I think is huge. Love your questions and please keep sending them in the comments, ask them or PM me or uh, email me, lynn at lynnborman.com and subscribe, don't forget that, subscribe to the YouTube channel, which I know it's kind of rough right now, but working on graphics, working to make it as, as good as I can, as soon as I can, um, and come back and see me soon.